We're here today in uh, Boring Park at the uh, Newfoundland Regiment Monument of Caribou, uh, representing the sacrifice of Newfoundlanders uh, during the First World War. And uh, behind us here is the, uh, the wall similar to the one at Bowman Hamill that represents a, uh, all of the people who are uh, lost in France and during World War I uh, that are in unmarked graves uh, in uh, France. But here today, we're here to talk about the uh, 75th anniversary D-Day tour uh, next year, 2019. And uh, with me is Glenn Saunders, a fellow Newfoundlander who now lives in Calgary. And uh, Glenn is a participant of the tour with us next year, and we're just here to chat with him to find out why he has chosen to be on the tour. Derek, this is a lifelong opportunity for me. I've uh, always been uh, very interested in things military, particularly Canadian and Newfoundland history in that regards. Uh, grew up wanting to be a soldier, got involved with the Army cadets, and I just went on to, to, uh, to the cadet system, uh, found a different path. But I've never lost an interest or a love in, in history, in the military history, study the battles, I've designed war games simulating the battles, studied the order of battles, the strengths and the weaknesses, the maps. I've done I've done a lot of that stuff over my time, but I have never walked the hallowed ground. And that's what I'm looking forward to here. This is a chance to to see uh, Juno Beach and see it on the day, 75 years in the future, that is, of course. And uh, you know, to walk in that Normandy battlefield, uh, you know, to stay where the where the division fought, and uh, and then to tour the rest of France up through Calais, Dunkirk. Uh, we've got a stop in Middleburg in Holland. That's the site of a, a huge Calgary Highlander battle in October, Halloween, October 1944, and we're going to see some Arnhem uh, and Grosbeek. The, that's the uh, the bridge too far battlefields uh, that you'll know from you know the movies and uh, it's just going to be a, a fantastic opportunity to walk the ground and hear the history from experts uh, and I, what can I say I'm just I'm so excited and so enthusiastic I, if there's people out there that are thinking about this tour they've got to contact you man and uh, get on board and get on board soon because we you know we need to get the approvals in place and, uh, so that they can attend those uh, the, those D-Day ceremonies. So. And why do you think um, it would be important for other Canadians to, to join this tour and to understand uh, our war history in this way? Derek, I think everybody's got to find their own personal reason for that. Uh, you know, for me, it, it's just such a long, lifelong interest. I've read so much, studied so much of these these battles. Uh, I'm, I'm just excited to get a chance to go there and see those, and see the battlefields. Thanks very much, Glenn. So if you want to get involved with the D-Day 75 anniversary tour, uh, you can go to our webpage, www.dday752019.com, or you can email me at D Windsor, that's D W I N S O R, at tpi.ca for more information. So again, it's uh, www.dday752019.com. And if you're in any other province across the country, we have representatives in each province, and all that information is on that webpage. So thank you very much, and thank you again for participating today. Come join us, folks. We're going to have a great time. <laughs>